you will receive the power of the Holy Spirit coming upon you, and you will be my witnesses even to the ends of the earth. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us now call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to cause sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May the power of the Holy Spirit come to us, we pray, O Lord, that we may keep your will faithfully in mind and express it in a devout way of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. While Apollos was in Corinth, Paul traveled through the interior of the country and down to Ephesus, where he found some disciples. He said to them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you became believers? They answered him, We have never even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. He said, How were you baptized? They replied, with the baptism of John. Paul then said, John baptized with a baptism of repentance, telling the people to believe in the one who was to come after him, that is, in Jesus. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul laid his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they spoke in tongues and prophesied. Although, altogether, there were about twelve men. He entered the synagogue and for three months debated boldly with persuasive arguments about the kingdom of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. God arises, his enemies are scattered, and those who hate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so are they driven, as wax melts before the fire. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. But the just rejoice and exult before God. They are glad and rejoice. Sing to God, chant praise to his name, whose name is the Lord. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. The father of orphans and the defender of widows is God in his holy dwelling. God gives a home to the forsaken. He leads forth prisoners to prosperity. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Alleluia, alleluia. If then you are raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord.
the disciples said to Jesus, Now, you're talking plainly and not in a figure of speech. Now we realize that you know everything and that you do not need to have anyone question you. Because of this, we believe that you came from God. Jesus answered them, Do you believe now? Behold, the hour is coming and has arrived when each of you will be scattered to his own home and you will leave me alone. But I am not alone because the Father is with me. I have told you this so that you might have peace in me. In the world, you will have trouble. But take courage. I have conquered the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, good morning to all of you. Let us uh, have a liturgical reflection on the first reading. So here, Apollos was in Corinth and Paul traveled through the interior of the country and down to Ephesus where he found some disciples. Of course, we know that Ephesus is the capital of Asia Minor. At this time, there were two, I mean, three main cities. Rome in, of course, in Italy. Ephesus in the Asia Minor and Alexandria in Egypt. So these are the cosmopolitan cities. And Paul would often go to crowded places because kung damo tao, kagum preach ka, bisa isa dua, may makwa agin. So that's the modus operandi of Paul. And so there in Ephesus, he found some disciples, believers. But he inquired, did you receive the Holy Spirit already when you became believers? So the question of Paul now presupposes that you can believe in Jesus, but still you, want, or rather, you are not able yet to receive the Spirit. So therefore, we can say that baptism... And the reception of the Holy Spirit are two different things. Hindi siya yung adungan o isa lang. They are distinct. You, you are baptized and you become a believer, but even if you were baptized, it is still possible that you have not received this, the Holy Spirit. Uh, I think it was two Sundays ago, when, uh, I forgot the, in, the, in their context, when the apostles were sent from Jerusalem and then they laid, uh, was it Peter? There were believers there in a certain place, I forgot not the city. And Peter went there with John. Ah, yeah, uh, Samaria, I remember now. Philip, one of the, one of the deacons, went back to his province, Samaria. Philip was from Samaria. He preached there, and many believed, and he baptized them. F Philip the deacon baptized the believers in Samaria. But then they inquired that they, uh, about the Spirit, and wala pa. And so the people from Jerusalem sent Peter and John to Samaria. And they laid hands on the believers and then they received the Holy Spirit. The same is true here in the case of Paul in Ephesus and the believers there. That is why, my dear friends, for us Catholics, we are baptized and then we are confirmed. Two distinct sacraments. Confirmation and baptism. Baptism and confirmation. We are baptized first because that is the gateway to the sacraments. And then when we, are, when, we are, when we become mature, 
we receive the Holy Spirit by the laying of hands of the bishop or his delegates on our head. That's why, my dear friends, we do not subscribe to the Protestant idea that our rituals and sacraments are medieval. Ang mga ginapermi ang hamba sa mga Protestante ng ano, that the sacraments, the rites and rituals of the Catholic Church are medieval inventions. Gin kwa na ko na ni, gin inbinto, inbinto lang during the Middle Ages. Of course, that is wrong. Our practice is solidly founded on the Bible, and that is shown by the story of the, of the Acts of the Apostles with regards to Philip, the Samarian, and that of Paul in Ephesus. So my dear friends, I think that's it. Uh, okay, that's the liturgical uh, note. With regards to our anticipation of the Pentecost Sunday, the Pentecost Sunday is the birthday of the church wherein the Holy Spirit enters, or rather appeared as tongue of fires on the head of the disciples gathered in the synagogue. Well, we might uh, have some reflections there, but I just share with you one idea. It's about new beginnings. Jesus has to ascend to the Father, and we celebrated that uh, yesterday, because he has to go back to the Father so that the Spirit can, can come. And in the coming of the Spirit, there are new beginnings in the church. So, life is a cycle. A cycle of going back and new beginnings. So, ascension is going back to the Father. He disappeared from the sight of the apostles. Pero, that is also a mark, a space, wherein the Spirit can enter and create new fervor, new beginnings in the lives of the disciples. There are transitions, there are disappearances, there are goodbyes, but in the end, those goodbyes will give space create a fertile ground wherein new seeds can grow again. It's just like no? whenever we grow in plant, we have to clear the ground. And by clearing the ground, new life can sprout. And so that is also with the Spirit of God. No? We have to clear our souls, our, our hearts, give space so that the Spirit can enter and there create new beginnings. Let us now offer our petitions to the Lord as we say, Lord, help us to face our troubles. Lord, help us to face our troubles. Let us not be overly worried about what we are to eat, to drink, or to wear, but trust in our Creator who provides even for the birds of the air and the lilies of the field, we pray. Lord, help us to face our troubles. Deliver us from useless anxiety by entrusting the future in the hands of God, we pray. Lord, help us to face our trouble. Save us from the power of the devil, the ancient enemy. For Jesus has conquered the prince of this world, we pray. Lord, help us to face our troubles. Let us not fear those who kill the body, but rather fear the Lord who has the power to destroy both body and soul. We pray. Lord, help us to face our troubles. Deliver us from the torment of death and the dread of perpetual extinction. For we are made 
for communion with God. We pray. Lord, help us to face our troubles. Lord God, fear paralyzes us, but faith and hope set us free. Come to our aid and banish fear in our hearts. Amen. Amen. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this unblemished sacrifice purify us, O Lord, and impart to our minds the force of grace from on high, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty in our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to Jesus Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers of the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gives you pray, by sending down your spirit upon them that you fall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which shall be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection 
until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Patricio, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Sebastian, St. Lorenzo Ruiz, St. Pedro Calungsod, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come. Thy, thy will, will be done on earth as it is, is in heaven. heaven. Give us this, this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord. We pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin. And safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. I will not leave you orphans, says the Lord. I will come to you again and your heart will rejoice. Alleluia. For those who are joining our live stream celebration, let us now pray the spiritual communion prayer. O oh my Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the blessed sacrament. I love you, and I desire you to come into my heart. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, Come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you. Oh, never leave me. May the burning and most sweet power of your love 
consume me, that I may die for you who died for love of me. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously, we present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is offered. Thanks be to God.